Holy cow. Hails low, it's Jeremy with What The Hails. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and hit the bell so you get the notifications of all the new videos that we upload because you never know what the hails we're gonna find. And today, I got contacted and called yesterday evening by an auctioneer spur of the moment one unit here in north canton all we were told that there's a tractor there is an atv there's a hot tub now i just registered i also was told that the gentleman is in north carolina or south carolina now he, he had some medical issues his body went septic and the manager said this guy is not one of the bad guys this guy is one of the good guys and his unit is packed with the good stuff. Bad problem is I didn't have much cash on me today. So I doubt we're gonna get this. I got a little bit over $9,000 with me. Probably not gonna get it, but the good news is, is we're gonna practice because the gauntlet and the challenge has been cried out by the West Coast. Storage auction pirate, locker nuts, storage stalker, you got storage hunters Vegas, bargain hunters thrift. The West Coast has been talking a lot of games, saying that they're better than the East Coast. So I call my buddy Treasure Hunting with Jeebus. Next week, it's on like Donkey Kong. We're going for a battle royale. And if that ain't enough, we're taking treasure hustlers with us. Who the hells do you think's gonna win East Coast versus West Coast? I'd like to think of us as the Beast Coast because we're gonna win. But we wanna know down below in the comments, who do you think's gonna win? Team West Coast or Team East Coast? Hello, I'm Rodney Dimmerling with Dimmerling Realty and Auctioneers from Canton, Ohio. We were supposed to have an auction today here at AAA South Storage in North Canton. The owner called just 15 minutes before auction time with a credit card and paid his bill. And so we cannot have the auction today because it is now paid up unit. And I believe this is the third time this gentleman has paid on this and been late and paid right at the last minute. So we want to apologize to everybody that might be coming. And do you promise to call me when it goes up for the fourth time? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll bring more money that time. Bring more money, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, got a lot of nice stuff in there, so bring more money. <laughs> the auction being canceled today really put a strain on my workout program, West Coast versus East Coast. West Coast been talking so much trash, saying they're the best coast. They don't even know what's coming. East Coast is about to Beast Coast them. So we're gonna have to practice today. We're gonna have to work it out on the profiling skills, opening boxes, seeing what's inside, making sure we have profit. This is the $400 horse unit, the saddle, the, the $15,000 of jewelry. This should get me pretty hyped up for this battle royale. Let's dig in. I think we got one more day actually unboxing it here. And then tomorrow, we'll go back for the drug dealer's unit. Okay, I have a feeling we got some good stuff here. That's because they're clear and I can see through. I gotta tell you, this is quite a way to begin. Zucchini, steakhouse, onion, onion soup, microwavable popcorn. Oh, this is great. Swiss Miss, Jello. This is gonna come in handy because there is no doubt there is gonna be a storage food challenge. And I am not one, I am not one to get beat in a storage food challenge. We got pudding. This is, this is good. This is good training material. And I think there's even more. Oh yes there is. Look at that. We got the saltines, pancakes, <laughs> oh yeah, okay storage auction pirate. You want a unicorn? Come on, come on. You want to know what we're gonna do with your unicorn? You want to know what East Coast is gonna do? East Coast is gonna rip in to your unicorn and then we're gonna We're gonna eat you up. We're gonna eat you up found this other dresser and I got a kind of a feeling that it might be something that was next to the other dresser but before we look at that a lot of people asked to get a closer look at the tack since we found out a lot of a lot of silver was on the tack before it now if I had my guess there's probably silver in this now looking at this buckle 
here's what I've come come up with so far. I got Kathy's a diamond with a D in it. That's all I got. I, I don't see anything else with silver. So I'm gonna set that aside. And we're gonna dig in. But before we do, I had another idea. I mean, you guys are always telling me how bad my gloves are. And I figure if we're going to this battle royale, then West Coast is gonna know and gonna see East Coast means business. Look at this, new gloves. This is, this is gonna be a highlight. And I mean that in every yellow way possible. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. All right, top drawer, holy cow, look at all them batteries. Huh, that's, that's a lot of batteries. Um, that is all batteries. We'll just, well, this, this next one doesn't have a knob, so we'll just go this way. We've got, all right, let's do this. We're going to go down like that. The way, the way to go yearling long line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Columbia Elmer, em, em, emeralds. I'm getting too excited. Nothing. Nothing. After all those emeralds we found, nothing. Um, here you go. Look, look, look. There's more tack. Look, there's another. Man, I just dropped it. Okay. Gotta get under control. All right. Look at all that tack. Now, this. The other one we found said, said silver on it. See right there? Silver. And this drawer is filled with tack pieces. We'll have to go through all of that individually. Set that aside. We'll hit this next drawer. Here, let's go down a little bit. Actually, I think you can see it pretty well, can't you? Okay, here we go. Holy cow! All right, let's be honest. What were all these batteries for? If you saw the first unboxing, <laughs> what were all of these batteries for? Wow. And, okay, we got one more drawer. I'm gonna slide this back a little bit. Hey, here's another Garth Brooks disc set. Garth Brooks, the entertainer. We found another one of these in the other, I forget which unit it was. It was better, better condition. Let's see if it's actually in here. Blame it all on my boots. I showed up with roots. I forgot to dye my hair. Okay, it's all in there. So a lot of people actually asked us for this when they saw the other one in the video, so. If, if George sold you one, well, there's another one if you want it. Oh, check this out. Here, let me take, let me take the camera down. Okay, here we go. We're taking the camera down to the drawer. We got a flag. No, this isn't just a normal flag. Look at this. I've never seen one like this before. Okay, anybody? Anybody have an idea what this is? Dread Pirate Roberts, what we got here? This is a piracy flag? This storage auction pirate trying to throw some smack at us? I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna give this to storage auction pirate next week. He's gonna get that, we're gonna, we're gonna fly the flag, he's gonna fly that for surrender. Let's see, what do we got? There's a handkerchief. Whoop, wait, hold a second. National Jamboree Valley Fort 1950 BSA BSA remember the Jamboree that was over in Asia from the Boy Scout unit I bet BSA is Girl Scouts 19 yep it is look at this look at this this is her Girl Scout whatever you would call it wow 
Wow, wow, wow. So not only do we have all those Boy Scout things, look at all this cool Girl Scout stuff we have. And I mean Boy Scout things from that other Boy Scout unit that we bought. I think that was back in November, October, November. How cool. I found some really cool loose things like this picture. And this picture just isn't one of those pictures. I think it's one of those moving pictures because it has it has a cord on the end. So I bet you like the water lights up and it flows down like a waterfall. I bet you that's absolutely gorgeous when it's plugged in. Found some couple other cool things as well. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Revere wear. You see that? So Paul Revere, I've shared that with you before. He was a metal smith, metal artist, uh, before he was ever riding on the horse, declaring one by land, two by sea. 1801. It's got the patent number on there and everything. So, cool piece there. And then, I got this oven thermometer too. Found a pair of loose binoculars. So, let's see. We got a pair of cell sign so probably not worth anything look at this i mean we know big time into horses and equine so these are yard ornaments and solar solar uh i don't know solar powered that's what we're looking for and remember when we found the wiener dog boot scraper i think i think they absolutely had a wiener dog this was a really cool, another loose piece, just a cutting board. And so I thought that was neat. And then another cool piece here. Oh, the train's going by. I know what you guys are all going to say now. You'll be like, Jeremy, your gloves, they're too bright. Because I have the flash on. Well, you can't have it both ways. You can't say you want me to get new gloves, and then when I do, you say they're too bright. Look at this. Wow. This is one of the old trucks. Look, patent pending right there. See that right there? I had to turn the light on because it's starting to get dark. And it says on the front, what's it say? Can you guys read that on the front license plate? What's it say? Does it say buddy? Maybe? How cool. If you didn't get a good look at it, look. Very, very cool. Oh, look. You know what? This is a bank. Your money goes in here, and it's missing the piece here. This is an old truck bank. Oh, man. How cool is that? And it is. It's a Buddy L. Look at the tire. It's a Buddy L truck bank. I wonder how much this is worth. Wow. Cool. We've got some horse decor. It's kind of cool, cowboy. Looks like some more horse decor. Oh, we got some more old trucks down here. Look at this. I know a lot of you guys love this stuff. Uh, Hubley, we got Hubley on the tire. Now, it, unfortunately, it looks like we're missing the back of the rig. And this is probably how you used to dump it or let it go. So, we're missing, it's got number 108 or excuse me, 801 inside, or 108 if you're reading it this way. So, I don't know, maybe we'll find the rest of the truck. Here's another one, let me see if I can get it. It's underneath some of this stuff. Look at this, Western Auto. Oh, how cool is this? Looks like it's missing the back of the pickup truck. Western Auto, the family store. This is a Hubley. So Hubley, Lancaster PA, number 800. I see some more numbers underneath here, 006. Look at the detail on the front. Uh, does not look like it's a dump, or if it is, I don't know how to dump it, but I think we're missing a piece. That's cool, I love that stuff. Look how cool this is. This is a lamp. This is a, this is a chicken lamp. Yep, you got the switch right there. How cool is that? That would look great in somebody's camper. Like, I've got Jeebus the turtle. Somebody could have, you know, 
Somebody could have uh, Locker Nuts, the chicken. You know what I'm saying? You're just a little West Coast tribute. Oh. But you guys could also have Jeebus, the wild stallion from the East, in honor of the East Coast being the Beast Coast. Look at that. That's some cool, cool decor right there, and it folds in half. Looks like we got some horses. Of course we have some horses, right? We already knew that. It's stamped with something there on the side. That doesn't look like Briar. We got a horse statue. A very decorative and heavy horse statue. Zips chocolate chip. World champion Western pleasure horse made by Stone. This feels light. I don't know if it's in here. Um, something is in here. It feels very light, though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We definitely have a horse. I, ooh, we don't only have a horse. We have an autographed horse. Ann Myers Zips Chocolate Chip 101798. Does anybody know who Ann Myers is? Does anybody know who Zips Chocolate Chips is? And do you know what in the world the autograph does to this figurine? Which looks like it's in pristine condition. Wait, look, down here. This is number 325 out of 2,500, and it's autographed. I wonder how she got it autographed. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put that right back in here. It's definitely, we don't want to break it. And we come on, let's be honest. We all know I have a tendency. All right, all right. We got some other home decor. We got a rooster. It looks like uh, some horses. Nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary there. I mean, we would expect that based on this unit. For sure, some great sayings, never give up. If you stumble, get back up. What happened yesterday no longer matters today. It's a new day. I mean, that applies to the East Coast for sure, but uh, don't lose hope. When you're down to nothing, God is up to something. Isn't that the truth? And then we got the merry-go-round horse. I think it's appropriate that we try and honor this previous owner. Obviously, a tremendous passion for horses, uh, a tremendous passion for the POA, Ponies of America, and did a tremendous amount of work. Now, her parents started it. And so I think this picture, I've got tons of them, but this one is blurry enough that we can see her tremendous passion for horseback and for ponies. And, and we can also... Uh, thank her for everything that she's provided for us. We still have not been able to locate her. And I just saw this tote. It says very old pictures, which you guys know I love seeing some of this old pictures. If we see anything personal, you guys know I'm going to have to edit it out. But look at this. I wonder if these old lithographs. This old, this old picture stuff, people just love it. And, see, I mean, it's just so cool. Look at this. I bet you there's going to be some wartime stuff in here. I mean, you just don't see anything like this anymore. What people do is they hodgepodge this. They'll, they'll use this on a lot of their projects. So if you find something like this, I mean, how cool is I'll try and get the flash off of it? old tractor you find stuff like this uh, oh, look at the old locomotive and people will put it in their distress projects so it's really really cool some people have messaged us and said hey you know it's like having family look at that I don't I th maybe park ranger or maybe that's just how they wore suits back then Dad and son sighting in a sighting in a gun. Actually, that's military. They're wearing uniform. Huh. 
Wow. All right, let's try and be, let me make sure. I don't think that's anything. You know, there's just no telling what we could find in here. I remember, we found $15,000 worth of jewelry in a garbage bag. Okay. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Kodak Recon safety film. Kodak Recon. All right, this says number 20. Kodak Recon. These are... Stuff says Kodak Recon. I wonder if this is... I gotta find a date. I wonder if... Safety film. This has got to be from training. Wow. Wow. Here's a cool picture from there. 1958 was stinky, so they obviously not only had a wiener dog, but... They had a skunk as well, Mike and Stinky, 58. I'm hitting a little bit too much personal information in here, but I have all his official Air Force records, the dad, they're right here. He passed away in 2006. I did find his obituary. He passed away just months after the mom passed away, probably of a broken heart. And so all of his military paperwork right here. That, and this stuff is just so cool, the history behind it. It's really, really, really neat to walk through the history. Look at this. We have found an entire postcard collection. Now, I, I want to encourage you, never, ever just discard paperwork. As a matter of fact, paperwork can sometimes bring the most amount of money. Uh, I was telling George this the other day. Uh, I found a Kentucky Derby uh, just a program, you know, this is what's going on at the race, da 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 da, it was from the, I forget what date it was, that there's a glacier, this is so cool, and I sold it on eBay, it had writing in it, the whole deal, $175, and I got a raccoon by me right now, so I got a little friend, all right, out of here, out of here, yeah, he came up alongside of me, scared the living, scared the hails out of me. Come on, out. Where were we? Oh my goodness. He is literally, will not get out of the garbage that I've already placed here. You gotta go. You gotta go. I probably caught you and let you loose here. You gotta go, my friend. Look, he's trying to get in. Now, this is the other, this is the other side of storage units okay seriously this time where were we uh, look at all these postcards just postcards after postcards oh, wow look at this postcard collection look there's more Look at that, Freedom's Leader, the Ambassador. I mean, we may have hundreds, if not more, just in postcards. We could have thousands. The only way to know is to check everything out on eBay. That's where you're gonna find out. Oh, look at this. Look at this. United Nations, New York, Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, Rockefeller. Wow, what is this stuff? This is a transfer to put on your shirt. Look at this. Yeah, these are shirt transfers. Old, old shirt transfers. Let's see if we can find a date. I don't see a date. Oh man, man, we gotta put that back in. Definitely have to put that back in. Okay, I, I gotta pause this because I don't want to lose any value on this. There's truly just so much cool stuff in here. I'm telling you, a lot of times paper can bring more money than anything else. A lot of people look for the big stuff. Here's Japan. Stars and Stripes, tourist stars and stripes map of Japan. I've been to Japan, I didn't get one of these. Look at this. Wow. 
this stuff could be worth a lot. Now, for some of you right now, you're just like, yeah, whatever. Get to the good stuff. You don't understand how much money is actually in paper and how easy it is to ship. How cheap. Here, here's a hunting license. Look at this. Here's a pipe. It's like national treasure pipe. You got to put that in. That's the, that's the key to lock. There could be... It, uh, and I'm not saying that there actually is because I don't know unless I look it all up but there could be thousands of dollars just in this tote it's the history keep PA beautiful I guess you would call this a side drawer uh, some kind of organizational tote I thought this might be interesting so get the new gloves back on that's right that's how bright we are east coast it's called the beast coast for a reason all right should we start with top middle or bottom eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by his toe if he hollers let him go eeny meeny miny mo we'll start here so oh look at this look at this already all right we got craft manual north american indians footwear this thing is really heavy, it's about to fall over on me. And my body is really sore. I'm gonna need me a full body massage tonight from one of them toys that I found in a unit. Them big massagers. This is a kind of a cool can, look at that. Mixed nuts, salted, pioneer. Oops, nothing in it. Okay, we got Body Lab Slim Kit. Probably should take that. Take that for the uh, for the challenge. West Coast, East Coast. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Salt and pepper shakers. They're boots. Can you see them? George. If George were here, she could help me with this. But unfortunately. I'm beyond solo right now. All right. Um, can you see that? Can you see the running horses in there? Probably can't see that, can you? Because really, you got to look at it. How can you see that? There's three running horses in here that you apparently can't see. There's a little tin. Here's a thing of candy. Yeah, we like candy. It's... Oh, wait, wait, there's more than candy. There's also, look at that, there's a watch. There's a watch. What kind is that? Uh, Acura? Is there anything else in there? I'll have to try one of those candy. I'll take some of those candies home for George. I'm not, no, this is our secret. Don't tell her that it was actually in here. I'm just going to give it to her as a surprise. But we're not going to tell her where it came from. There's a magic towel, some kind of dolphin. Um, leather change purse, maybe. Candelabra. Made in Italy. In inner pure. There's a belt buckle. 1977. Boston. Look at that. That's got to be worth something. Uh, keychain. So definitely equine person's keychain right there. The bit. Um, something. Easy twist. Remove store caps. Okay. This is for clamping on and turning different things. Uh, jars on lids. It's a shot glass, but it says it's a measuring cup. I've never seen a shot glass like that before. My, goodness, my back is killing me. I barely can even do this right now. Uh, we got Diamond Needle Corp. We got more tack. There's more tack. And that could mean more silver. Let's hope there's more silver in there. I'll have to take that home and check it. We'll set that aside. 
Oh my, how... How, um... Cat lady-like? How do you get in there? There's like three or four of them. There's three of them. Those are cat light plates. It's definitely cat lady -like. Um, Looks like a silver spoon. And... Tie tack. I bet you that's a pearl. We'll have to test that. All right, we're gonna go down a drawer. Oh, I forgot about this thing. What's this? Oh, man. Uh, it looks like Christmas ornaments. A bunch of horse Christmas ornaments. All right, you guys talked me into it. I went and got the table back out. My back was hurting bad from moving all this stuff today. All right, let's see. Oh, whoa, this one is full. Let's just take it out. Take it out, tip it down. Um, oh, remember the Sony, remember the Sony camera? I bet that's, would that go on the lens? That, would that screw on? It would, wouldn't it? I bet you. We've got a bunch of cables. We got a splash, splashy. Not sure how that works. Oh look, look, look! Look, there's another lens for that that um, for that camera that we found. High definition, 45x wide angle lens. Let's see if it's in there. It feels light. It sure is. It's in here. Let's make sure that's actually it, though. This is a whole lot harder with gloves. All right, we're banning in the gloves. And, yep, it's it's in there. How cool is that? I wonder how much that's worth. Again, I don't have time to look at it right now. We look at values afterwards. There's a charging dock. Whoa. We don't usually get, we don't usually get uh, cell phones this nice. They're usually all cracked. That's a huge screen too. Might be able to upgrade to that. Oh, look at that, a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass with lights. All right, this is definitely going home. We can use this for coins. How cool. George is gonna love that. Uh, Adobe, Photoshop, Elements 8. Oh, this is, this is the camera. That's the camera. Here's all the paperwork for the camera. Awesome. What else do we have? Got Ponies of America. Let's see. And... We got a checkbook. All right, that's got to go aside. We got a checkbook. That's pretty normal, finding checks. Almost all the time. Look at this. We got a purse. We got... Okay, we got coupons. Let's see. All right, we got this many cards. Let's see if there's any gift cards. No gift cards, all credit cards. Okay, I'm gonna put that back. We're gonna check in here. Unfortunately, no gift cards. No money, this is coupons and stuff. All right, we've got paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. This stuff is so boring, I usually just edit this out. So that's what we'll do again. We'll edit all this out. Paperwork, I'll have to go through that later. But admittedly, I wasn't too good at getting that middle shelf back in, but let's see what we can do here. We got... This looks all right. Yeah, here we go. There we go. We got a stash of gift cards for the next gift card video. Sweet. Gift card, gift card, gift card, reward card, gift card. Okay, that is cool. And it's a horse purse. I 
don't know if that was self-made. Here, let me change that angle. Holy cow! Look at all the change. Look at it all. There's another ring. We'll have to check that for silver. Look at all this. Look at all this. We've got bag change. We have loose change. All right. That's all going to have to go home. That's all going to have to go home to be gone through to see if there's any collectible coins in there. What's your guess? Put it down in the comments. How much money is here just in change? Down in the comments. We want your guess, and we want to find out who's the closest.